In this video lesson, we will talk about the complex conjugate. What is the complex conjugate? Well, I'll show in a table a few examples of complex conjugates. So let's say you just start with some complex numbers. These are going to be one column. So let's say we have 1 plus i, 2 minus i, 3i, negative 14 plus 12i. Each one of these numbers has a corresponding complex conjugate. It's a related number that is called the conjugate of what you started with. And how is it formed? What is it? It's actually pretty simple. For 1 plus i, let me add these lines real quick. For 1 plus i, it'll be 1 minus i. For 2 minus i, it'll be 2 plus i. For 3i, just negative 3i. And here, negative 14 minus 12i. So what we've done is we've flipped the sign where we have the i, the imaginary part. Where we had a plus, we put a minus. Where we put, had a minus, we put a plus. And that is what we call the complex conjugate of a number. So now let's talk about a few examples of these and what they're used for. Well, f first, just in general, complex numbers are something plus something times i. And that conjugate would be something minus the same something times i. Or if we have started with the minus, then we switch to a plus. All right. So now some more facts about complex conjugates. First of all, complex conjugates are denoted with a bar. So let's say you have a equals 2 plus i. a bar, the complex conjugate is 2 minus i. That's just how it's written. If you put a bar on top of it, then you should calculate the complex conjugate. And this is what I'm writing to the side here. You start with a complex number, and if you put a little bar over it, then it's going to be the conjugate of that number. Now, one of the most interesting things about complex conjugates is multiplying them. So, for example, if you start with, let's say, a equals 2 minus 3i, just some complex number, and you want to compute, this is a problem, you have to solve it. You want to compute a times a bar. Well, a times a bar is not too difficult to compute. First, we need what a bar is, and it's 2 plus 3i, because we had minus 3i, but this is the conjugate, so we switch the minus to a plus. And th so that means that a times a bar is equal to 2 minus 3i times 2 plus 3i. So now we just FOIL it out. Like in the video, I'm multiplying complex numbers. So 2 times 2, 4. And then 2 times 3i is going to be 6i. Negative 3i times 2 is going to be negative 6i. And then we have our negative 3i. negative 3i times positive 3i. All right, so now we're going to simplify this. So we get 4 plus 6i minus 6i, and then this is going to be minus 9i squared. The, six, the plus and minus 6i will cancel out because they're just opposites. We get 4 and then the i squared is just negative 1. And so we just get 4 plus 9. And this is 13. Now notice 13 is a real number. So we started with a complex number, and we multiplied it by its conjugate, and we get a real number. This is just pretty interesting, and it also becomes useful 
in dividing complex numbers. I hope you found this video lecture ho helpful. Thank you for watching.